Welcome to episode 16 of the 2JZ Drift Build guys. Now let me update you because in this video I'm trying to do like five different things and so far I feel like three out of the five already have a setback so let me get you guys updated. So John did finish the intercooler and the piping which came out great. However we didn't have the headlights when we had this done so the issue we ran into is on the intake manifold side because this intake manifold is pretty long definitely longer than the stock one it's touching the headlight and he strategically put it in a way where when I get my bigger uh, weir, weir, wheel and tire set up that it doesn't end up rubbing so this space is actually ideal so I'm still deciding if we're going to be trimming the headlight and this is technically the high beam so if we trim that it should be enough to get it to fit but I don't really want to do that because I know these projector headlights are not cheap, especially since they're the OEM ones. Um, so the only option really if I don't trim the headlight is to redo the piping and have the piping then uh, put closer to the tire and the wheel well. But we're still trying to figure that out right now. So that's the first issue. Second, I need to finish the Street Fighter wide body kit, which I was missing... I was missing the bracket on the inside of the bumper on this side and uh, I was dumb <laughs> and had the wrong side cut off a different bumper for me so this side is the side I already have so we can't finish the wide body because I have to go back next week to uh, Brian at German Autosport and get the other side. So that's two out of the five that we're kind of on hold on right now. Um, and then the other thing, let me show you guys. The other thing I'm trying to figure out is where I want to mount the blow off valve. So I don't think there's enough space on the intake manifold side anymore. I know some people mount it sideways like this, but I think I'm actually going to end up having it mounted over here on the turbo side um, and not run a filter. I'll probably just have the mesh on top of the, the turbo and then just have the uh, the blow off valve right here so that's something we probably can do today next we have the hood vents so obviously you want to keep this 2JZ super cool so I did have these hood vents bought from uh, CMP Auto Engineering so we're gonna cut that and then also do the hood latches which is right here the uh, arrow catch hood latches we'll see if we can get to that today um, so that's four out of five and then John's actually working on the oil cooler right now the Mishimoto oil cooler and making tabs for that <laughs> um, we're both super tired so bear with us here um, the oil cooler we're gonna mount up right here in the center and that'll sit right behind the kidney grills so that's essentially the plan we have to start getting this finished up that way then I can bring the car to get sandblasted finally primed on the inside and then move on to getting the wiring done and all the other stuff needed to get this car running and moving forward because I just feel like it's so slow with the progress right now and I apologize that I'm not posting more videos but it's just we're all limited on time and we're doing our best, so yeah, let's just keep moving. I want you guys to see how precise John is. I hope they can hear it on camera, just how nicely that snaps in there. No, it's probably like a once lifetime Bro, thing. Bro, yeah, we're redoing it because he just snapped it in perfectly. Literally like... Ah. Look at that. That's quality fab work, my man. Slides in, bro. And this holds on right here. Let's put a tab right there. Yeah, that's perfect. Alright, oil cooler is mounted and John absolutely killed it. Instead of just half-assing and welding the brackets on, he made brackets that bolt onto the oil cooler and got it sitting perfectly. So I'll eventually paint the brackets uh, black to match everything, but 
It looks so good. Alright, so we decided we're going to have the blow-off valve welded right there so it's not blocking the whole of the turbo and it's not in the way of anything else over here in case we have to get to it so this will sit perfect. John's telling me how annoying these clamps for the blow-off valves are. Does only HKS use these yes. clamps? Really? Yeah. Perfect. It, it's a John just made a good point. He was lining up the hood vent plates and he was like, wait, is the plate gonna be on the outside or inside? And from the picture, I don't know if I can zoom in. The pictures from the company shows that the plates are actually on the inside. On the car, the, it only shows the rivets on the outside, so that's kind of funky. I think we're actually gonna flip them inside out, so put the plate on the outside. And I mean, that looks more race car-esque anyway, doesn't it? And it's gonna look better and it's gonna function the same, so we'll go with that. So first John traced the actual vent, and now he's gonna have to cut on the inside of the line, that way we can rivet the outside on the actual metal where the rivets go. My man's doing paper mache over here. <laughs> and then we're done. I'm super happy John actually thought of that or realized that this should not technically be on the inside because this looks way much better. Wait, way much better? <laughs> this looks way better in my opinion. Ah, satisfying. <laughs> All right, bro, last one. Then we're done with the hood. It's been a long day. Sir. Sir, well done my man. Yes, Hood's done, blow off valve is done, oil cooler is done. We didn't, like I said, get the bumper, um, the wide body done, but that's okay. The radiator will also do um, next episode. We're gonna get this headlight fitted. We figured out what we're gonna do. Um, John's actually gonna remake this piping. I'll explain that next episode, like I said. And that's it. So, thank you guys for watching. John, thank you for doing what you do. And uh, we'll see him in the next episode, yeah? yeah. Take it easy, guys. Uh...